It's a local verdict that has grabbed national attention. A former Georgia police officer found not guilty of manslaughter charges in the shooting death of an unarmed African-American man. The verdict came Saturday, the same day the only African-American member of the jury was replaced by a white juror. On your sides, Kaylee Tracy takes a closer look at how the makeup of this jury is driving conversations about the case. Emotions are running high tonight after a former Kingsland, Georgia officer was found not guilty of manslaughter over the weekend. Several people in court and in the community question whether the jury was representative of the community. My son was murdered. Tony Green's father says hearing the fate of the man who shot and killed his son after he ran away following a traffic stop was a hard enough pill to swallow. Officer Zachariah Presley was never charged with murder but faced charges of involuntary manslaughter, voluntary manslaughter, and violation of oath of a public officer. Presley has said he feared for his life, saying he and Green got into an altercation and described rolling around on the ground before the shooting. It was, it was hard not to just scream in the courtroom when the decision was made. But Anderson and others in the courtroom and in the community tell me it was who decided the fate that made it an even harder pill to swallow. The lone African-American juror, a woman, was replaced by an alternate after the judge said she was sick. A lot of us right now, as black men, don't trust the system right now. Attorney Mitch Stone, who is not connected to this case, says the goal when choosing a jury is to make sure jurors reflect the makeup of the community and that it is diverse. It's important for perception of, of how people perceive the justice system. You know, if you're being, uh, if you're on trial and you're, and, and, the, and the trial is going to be decided by members of the community that reflect who everyone is. According to the latest U.S. Census from 2018, whites make up about 75% of Camden County. African Americans make up about 19%. One of Presley's defense attorneys says she can understand how looking at the jury and taking a snapshot of it could look a certain way, but she says it was a fair process of how the jurors were chosen. Presley will be sentenced on October 18th for violating the oath of a public officer and will remain in custody until then. He faces one to five years in prison. Green's family says they plan to file a civil suit against the city of Kingsland. Reporting in Camden County, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.